Hey guys, Steve Welch here, Beeman Toyota in downtown Nashville. Uh, once again with your Toyota trim level series, uh, we are looking at the Toyota 4Runner Venture Edition. Uh, once again, I am master certified in everything Toyota. I am a uh, product specialist here, a sales society winner, and also a mentor and product trainer here at Beeman. So I definitely do know my product, but I will tell you, this one's brand new. So um, this is something that is a it's kind of a twist off of uh, what your off-road premium would be. Um, just adding a few other standard features. Um, just kind of giving you a quick look at it here so you can kind of take a peek. Um, this one is super wide, of course. Um, so that is, uh, um, that you're gonna notice one thing pretty, uh, pretty stoutly that shows up for you. It's that rack on the top there. It's your Mega Warrior rack. It's a Yakima Mega Warrior rack. And it has the crossbars on here as well. I'm um, giving you a peek of it here. That's on top of your vehicle. So now anything that is uh, the Forerunner Adventure is going to have that on there. Um, so that is uh, something there. So now I'm going to say I'm going to do a little bit different on this one than what I've done on some of them. Is that I'm going to be uh, showing you some items and and cross checking with my notes a little bit here, um, just because I want to make sure that. Uh, I give you all of the information on this particular vehicle and what comes standard and what uh, what does not. Now these wheels, I I mean this is probably one of the best looking TRD wheels I think that's out there. So um, don't get me wrong, I like the black and I, I like the the darker gray of it, but the steel looking color, the steel gray, it, I don't know, I, I it really uh, resonates with me. So um, hopefully it does on you too. So. Also, your Venture Edition, you're going to have your black door handles. Um, that's something else you're going to get with the Venture Edition. So, um, and your black mirrors, of course, also uh, with the Venture Edition as well. And you see it's a Yakima rack up top, by the way. Um, that's something that's uh, pretty special there. Um, now, this black front here, uh, from what I understand, that's going to be on all of them. So, uh, if you have a silver one, it'll have that black front. So, that's all going to be on there. Um, this right here is for your safety sense. So um, you're gonna have all of your safety sense, your dynamic radar cruise control, uh, your lane departure warning, your uh, pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, and your automatic high beams on your headlights. So you're gonna have all of that, of course. Um, you have push button start in this one as well. I'll show you that here in just a little bit. Uh, TRD stitching on your, uh, on your um, wheels, or on your uh, wheels, on your uh, headrest as well. So. Still has your 4.0 liter uh, six cylinder motor that is bulletproof. It has been around for a long time. Um, it's paired with your five speed transmission, produces uh, 270 horsepower uh, with uh, 278 foot pound of torque. Uh, part time four wheel drive system. Obviously, you can turn it into four wheel drive uh, with your active track. So, uh, also locking rear differential, your multi terrain select and crawl control, um, which you get on your off road, your off road premium, and your pro. Now, you also get that on your Venture series a um, little different of course so um, you uh, let me look here so uh, also I mean all your star safety system as well that's all standard as well on this particular vehicle so we'll go inside here we'll talk about some of the inside stuff sorry about my camera there I was trying to switch uh, some of my note pages here there are a lot of notes I have on this truck uh, just because I wanted to make sure not to leave anything out because you guys call me on that so, um, <laughs> so uh, premium audio, eight inch touchscreen. I'll show you on the inside dynamic navigation. Um, that's all standard in this one. Uh, Sirius XM is standard. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are standard. I'm gonna show you, uh, uh, the, like I said, the, the radio system here in just a second. Um, smart key system, all your soft tech seats, uh, connected services. You'll have safety connect with a one year trial. Uh, it's your SOS button. Uh, you'll have your destination assist with a one-year trial, Wi-Fi connect with two gigabyte, three-month trial through Verizon. Um, like I said, your gunmetal gray wheels. Um, this one, you're going to have all-weather floor liners as standard, um, the crossbars on the roof rack as standard, um, and your black exterior accents. So um, that's when you're talking about your, and I'll show you here, your emblem will be blacked out. And then obviously down here is your black exterior um, accent as well. Then your mirrors, your door handles up top, that's going to be black as well. And then obviously your Forerunner emblem, your uh, 
this shroud that's around here and then also the uh, emblem back there is also going to be black for you so um, definitely it's a uh, very very nice looking car without fail and I can sh I can tell you for uh, for sure here as well uh, it will come with your mud mud guards on the back here um, that I can tell because of the fact that it does not list it as an option on the uh, on the option list here so it should come with that so um, now this one does have the trail running boards that is an option um, that option looks like it costs about 600 bucks 5.99 on that option also has the option of your high intensity fog lights um, that is an option as well not standard but that is an option on your adventure series so i'm going to go ahead and come over to the side here you're going to notice your smart key system as well as option where you can lock it right here or you can just grab your handle and once you grab your handle it will unlock the door you're going to see you have a power seat so with lumbar so that is always a good thing so like i said always just kind of uh referencing my notes here as well so um of course tow hitch receiver we saw that on the back uh, with your seven and four pin connectors um, i'll show you this here before i get in so that i'm sure i don't forget so there is your hitch and i can't quite get to the underside but underside on the left that's where all of your connections are for uh the hitch so um now hopping in here you're gonna see that we have a new dash that is something that is new uh, in all of the forerunners. I'm gonna fire us up here. So, definitely, there's your uh, forerunner startup screen there in the middle. Um, now, it shows me with the door open here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this. So, that very good radio system as well Sirius XM HD radio. Um, here's all your crawl control. Terrain Select is up here as well, your uh, A-Track locking differential, your home link for your um, garage door is also standard, self-dimming rear view mirror, also standard. Um, like I said, your dash has been completely revamped. You've got this right here, this is your uh, premium audio system, also standard, with your integrated map system, also standard, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all of that standard as well. Um, like I said, you're not going to want a whole lot with this. Um, now, something that you might wonder, it has your, uh, your lever here uh, or your um, stick, whatever you want to call it, for uh, putting you into four-wheel drive um, as opposed to having the, uh, the turn that are on some of the other ones. So like I said, it matches your pro, uh, your off-road and off-road premiums uh, on these. So um, then you've got your climate control system. Now you do not have dual climate control. You have single climate control on this one. Um, so, you know, you one temperature for the whole car, of course. Um, all your safety sense here, which I'll go ahead and I'll put a link to the safety sense system uh, information in the description for us. Um, also, like I said, you can see your TRD seats, TRD headrest, red stitching throughout on the doors, on the seats, in the back, um, sunroof also standard on the sunroof here um so kind of looking this is the you know you also have your carbon fiber here still power down power up back window and it'll still come down for you so um power uh, your heated seats um you also have a few other things in here uh this is your usb port for connecting to your radio system um And you also, like I said, have Sirius satellite, uh, intermittent windshield wipers in case that's important to you. Your cruise control is still down here where it's been for years. Um, now I'm going to kind of, like I said, I'm going to do a little bit different off of what I do normally. And this is from Toyota. So um, what I'm going to show you here is it says the Toyota 400 is no stranger to the road less traveled. Body on frame design received some important additions. Um, safety sets P on all grades, the entertainment system, 8 inch touchscreen, CarPlay, Android Auto, Amazon Alexa capabilities. Um, so it'll also have this Venture Edition, of course. So the Venture Edition is more utility and flair, designed for explorers. Um, your Yakima, Yakima uh, Mega Warrior roof rack, of course, has the roof rack bars um, that support it up, of course. So it's 52 inches in length, 
it, 40 in length, 42 inches, or sorry, 48 inches wide and 6.5 inches in height. Uh, that could be important in case you uh, have a garage or something like that. Maybe the, the rack might not work for you. So definitely uh, note that, of course. Um, so you have your uh, standard all-weather floor mats, rear cargo mat are all standard. Um, and then you have a right a, a siding rear cargo deck. I will show you that here in a second. Um, so your exterior features, you know, we just talked about all of those as well. All your black accents as well there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and throw a page off to the side here. Um, but showing it's, uh, you know, obviously you got your crawl control. Uh, your multi-terrain select, another tool that helps to improve gripping by controlling the wheel spin based on the terrain setting like dirt, rock, or sand, selected by the driver, of course. So that's pretty awesome as well. Um, you just kind of go through it pretty quick, of course. If you have questions, just let me know. I'm going to be able to answer most of them here. Um, it still talks about your uh, your 4.2-inch screen that's in the very center there, Apple CarPlay. Um, so in your soft soft tech seats heated seats in the front row um trim seats are uh, also soft track trim seats are also in the back row so um definitely showing you this here i'm gonna go ahead and shut this off let me go ahead and roll this window up by the way all auto on your windows so everyone will go automatically up automatically down just hold it for a couple seconds it'll get you there um so now i'm going to kind of walk back this way um first things first i'm going to Go ahead and unlock the back door. That's first things first. By the way, I do want to show you this too. Power, uh, this right here is your power port. I'll show you that in the back in a second. Um, this right here is your heated windshield wipers. Um, everything's Bluetooth as well, by the way. You can connect your phone via Bluetooth or the USB with your Android Auto. You also have two more USB ports back here, total of three. Um, vents back here as well. So that's important, keep everybody uh, nice and comfortable um, also have your center console here as well and i'll fold that back up I do want to show you this right here this is how you fold down your seat you're going to notice this right here you pull once you pull this up now you can just leave just that up on both sides over there if you wanted to um, and the other side i have to pull the little handle but um, you could leave that up and then this right here is how you fold down this headrest so once you fold down that headrest it'll actually fit in this little cavity that's in the seat right here and it'll fold down but i use this other switch so you can kind of see what's back here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open the back here for us now i've had people ask before about is the back um power up power down and it is not power up power down but uh definitely is uh you know there's not gonna be any of them that are power up power down by the way uh in case that is your question so I'm going to pull these out. That's your carpeted mats along with the all-weather mats. So you've got both of the options there. Everything's uh, Now this one, um, the carpeted mats were an option. The all-weather mats were standard. So this that's why this one has both because it comes with both. So you'll see here there's no, uh, no type of a uh, third row seat or anything like that here. Um, just kind of showing you the... Uh, you know how everything works back here so um, you can do uh, a lot of options um, I don't believe they're gonna offer this one with a third row just because they're um, doing it the same way as the um, the off-road and the uh, the off-roads the pros and your off-road premium so uh, because of that I'm fairly certain they're not gonna offer it that way so um, I can def double check on that for you of course but um, wanted to show you this back here. This is your plug. So, like I said, you got your tie downs down here as well. Um, your jack, if you ever needed your jack, that's all behind here. Um, you can fold this center seat down as well if you needed to. You can kind of fold that down as like a pass through or something like that. Your seats will also recline in your second row. Um, and I'll show you that on this other one. Because obviously I've got this one uh, folded down pretty good. But if you pull right here, You'll see, and I'm gonna push this back. You'll see that I just reclined that seat back really nice. So um, if you uh, like to have your seats climb back or, or seats reclined back, that is something that is 
a very cool option to have on here like i said you can put your slide out cargo tray on here if you want to this one does not have it it is available as an option on this vehicle um this one does not have that cargo tray um there's there's no third row i'm uh, like i said i'm fairly certain there's not a third row in here you can see the difference in the recline that you have between the one i reclined and the other one that's all the way up so just kind of kind of going over it here and showing you some things so um ho hopefully i've helped you to know this uh this venture series here uh, this is your trim level series uh with steve welch and beeman toyota here in nashville uh your ttls toyota trim level series um just kind of giving you an, another look at this this beautiful beautiful forerunner here like i said brand new for 2020 this was not available uh in the 2019 or previous model years brand new for 2020 amazing look to it um obviously the uh the body style hasn't changed a whole lot when it comes to the forerunner um since about 2011 but when it comes to uh what you can get the bells the whistles the options things like that toyota does keep improving the forerunner um definitely while keeping uh forerunner nation in mind for making sure that uh it stays a forerunner so um, once again, Steve Watch, Beeman Toyota here in downtown Nashville. Let me know if you guys need anything. Um, if you have anything to add, feel free to add it. Uh, definitely keep it clean. Uh, I will delete any comments that, uh, that are not clean, of course. So um, if, uh, if you like it, don't like it, just let me know. Um, I will show you something else, too, that uh, a lot of people don't realize. If you ever need your spare tire, you have to go in that little hole and it drops down. Um, <laughs> just added that. Why? I don't know. Because it was fun. Um, but Steve Walsh, Beamer Toyota in downtown Nashville. I hope that uh, this vehicle has uh, uh, taken you guys, uh, your guys' interest like it has mine. Um, I think these things are awesome, and I do think that those rims are probably the best rims on any of the Forerunners. So, TTLS, your Toyota trim level series, Steve Walsh, Beamer Toyota in downtown Nashville. Appreciate you guys. Definitely like, comment, and uh, subscribe. I appreciate every one of you. You guys have a great day. We will talk to you soon.